Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Crystal Clear 101 with another toy review. I have another NECA figure today, and this one is the Deacon from the movie Prometheus. Now, if you are not familiar with the Deacon, or if you haven't seen the movie, well, first off, here's the front of the packaging. Now, the back. There's the Deacon. Also, shows a few other figures available. For this particular series now aside from the packaging which I actually really like the artwork on the packaging I think I just think this really looks nice but then again it's NECA they really do a good job on all their products now let me go ahead and bring in the Deacon itself there we go now, if you're wondering, why does that look like an alien? Why does that look like a xenomorph? Well, because it is. Now, if you don't know this already, I'll go ahead and tell you, I love xenomorphs. I really love xenomorphs, which is why I got the Deacon here. Now, you only see this creature, like, in the last 30 to 60 seconds of the movie. But... Let me go ahead and say, first off, this just looks wicked. This looks cool. I like the fake blood that's on the deacon itself, on the head, on the arms, on the body, everywhere. Yeah, all the dark stains on it are supposed to be blood. But the figure itself consists of, uh, if I remember, it's a ball hinge for the elbow, for the shoulders rather, ball hinge for the elbows. There is a swivel for the lower arms, and there's a swivel for each wrist. The legs have the same articulation as the arms. There is, I believe there's a ball joint for the midsection right here. And the head itself is also on a ball joint. So you can have this figure in all kinds of crazy poses. Now, the mouth itself does close you can also open it and it does have something resembling the uh, biomechanical mouth like you see in the xenomorphs from the other alien movies but this is just a very very nicely done figure it's nicely detailed he looks creepy he just looks flat out awesome now as far as accessories go he does come with a little transparent base, so you can actually help stand the figure, as otherwise, he's really not going to be able to stand. Two of these hammer peds, and basically two different versions of the hammer peed, as you can clearly see, but each one is kind of a soft rubber, and each one does have a little bendable wire in them so you can actually pose these little creatures which I thought was pretty cool they actually included these little hammer peeds and last but not least it does have a engineer's head with the helmet now this is technically two pieces cause here is the head And NECA did a very good job on the engineer's head. I mean, it just looks really good. And with the upper piece of the helmet on, this just looks nice. This just looks wicked. But overall, what is my overall opinion of this figure? Well, like I said, I love xenomorphs. So... For me, this is another Xenomorph variant for my collection. But if you like Xenomorphs, if you like Prometheus, then I would definitely not skip out on this figure. Because the figure itself, if he actually fully stands up, I think he's about 6 inches tall. But you get the Deacon, two Hammerpeeds, an Engineer helmet with a, where the helmet is actually removable. You can actually see the Engineer head. 
overall, very nicely done. NECA did a really good job on this one. I have really nothing but good things to say about the Deacon here. But, anyway, that's been my review of NECA's uh, Deacon for the Prometheus, Prometheus movie line. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.